I often get requests from Chinese brands to review their various gear. I have to decline a bunch of their stuff because I simply cannot find use for it. Tripods, however, are pretty useful to everybody. So when GooPhoto asked if I would review their bendy twisty tripod, I said yes. The GooPhoto tripod is $20 on Amazon, and you can currently apply a $4 discount, so really it's $16. Bucks. GooPhoto sent me their very affordable tripod for free. I tested it for three weeks. For around $20, GooPhoto includes a fairly comprehensive package. You get the flexible tripod, a detachable ball head, a cell phone holder, and a camera remote for triggering, recording, or photo. There's a bunch of plastic on everything. It is not particularly high grade, but for $20, it is quite acceptable. Unfolded, the legs completely straight, the tripod stands about 11 inches tall. But the tallest I could get it while in steady position was about 9 inches. The legs do have metal construction, but there is a rubber coating on them. The feet are hard rubber as well. This tripod will tend to slip on glossy or smooth surfaces. If you place the tripod on a rough surface, such as sidewalk, road, gravel, or sand, or anything else with the texture, the tripod will grip and stay put. The legs are quite flexible. The idea is that you can wrap the legs around railings, posts, or other objects so that you get a unique position for filming or photography. The rubber coating on the legs does help grip surfaces that you wrap the legs around. The ball head has a knob you can tighten to keep the camera or cell phone in place. If you adjust the knob properly, you can use the tension to get somewhat smooth panning effects. However, the ball head is not designed for this and if your camera does not have image stabilization, either in body or with the lens, then you may see jitter in the recording as you pan with the ball head. The tripod is not particularly heavy, so you can toss it into your backpack and not add much to your kit. The tripod, however, is far too bulky to fit in pockets. GooPhoto says that this tripod will hold up to 1.2 kilograms, which is about 2.5 pounds. The Amazon listing says that the maximum capacity is 3 pounds, but that's not 1.2 kilograms, so there is a bit of confusion in the marketing material. I think a tripod does best with setups that are no more than 2 pounds. Unfortunately, this weight limitation will just hold the Panasonic GH5 without a lens. If you attach one of the S Pro lenses, the kit will be far too heavy for this tripod. But let's be honest, if you have a GH5 and a Pro lens or anything that's really high quality, you're not using this tripod. Instead, the GooPhoto tripod is mostly for light fixed lens cameras. My Sony RX100 Mark IV, for example, worked perfectly fine. The RX100 is very light. My Ricoh GR2 and GoPro knockoff action cameras were well within the weight limit of this tripod. It is obvious that the GooPhoto tripod is mimicking the GorillaPod tripods, which cost several orders of magnitude more money. But let's be clear, I once owned a GorillaPod, and the GooPhoto is really not up to that standard. Does the GooPhoto tripod work? Yes, it generally does what GooPhoto says. Assuming your camera is under the maximum weight limit, the tripod will do what any other tripod will do, holding your camera upright. As for the flexible legs, yes, they also work. In fact, the legs require a bit of force to bend. This is good because the legs will not unwind easily, assuming your camera is fairly light and surface to which you have attached the tripod has enough area for grip. Overall, the GooPhoto tripod is a fine product. It's cheap and will get the job done if you've got a light camera. Is it worth $16 to $20? Yeah, I think so. At that price, the tripod does offer enough features and good enough construction to justify its price. I'll keep the GooPhoto as a backup tripod in my bag. If nothing else, I can use it for my small LED panels.